Hey guys, <laughs> I'm Coven, and you're watching Lin Life. Make sure to subscribe and join the family. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be unboxing the third Costco doll that I got. Obviously it's been a secret for a while, but if you saw the thumbnail, you'll know it's Blair. So we'll open her today, but first I wanted to kind of talk about the two that I already opened because I didn't really do an official name reveal for both of them, so I want to do that now. Um, so on the left we have Gabriella, who is now Persephone, and on the right we have Luciana, who is now Troy. So cue the high school musical jokes, I know, I know, but since she's not still Staying Gabriella, it's not Troy and Gabriella, unfortunately. So yeah, it's Troy and Persephone, and I'll be opening the third doll and revealing her name today. A thing that I kind of wanted to say real quick is I've been getting quite a few comments asking if I'll be doing a um, Christmas haul video, and the answer is no, simply because I didn't get anything American Girl for Christmas, and it's not really unusual for me. I typically do not get anything doll related for Christmas because year round I'm buying for myself, and it's nice for Christmas to just focus on me and not get anything doll related since I'm so picky about that, but actually restock on the stuff that I need as a human since I'm terrible about buying stuff for myself. However, I did get some money, so that will be going directly towards dolls. I will be getting Kira on January 1st, as you guys probably have heard a million times by now. And I'm also planning on getting one other doll, I'm just not sure which one it will be, and a couple clothing items. But I also need you guys' help deciding which doll to bring to the American Girl Place, so I will be having a poll down below in my pinned comment, and leaving you guys a couple options of dolls that I'm thinking about bringing, and you guys can vote on which one you want to see me take with me for my vlog. And that is coming soon, so I'm very excited about that, but let's get right into opening Blair. Okay, let's get down to business. So, here we have Blair. I'm so excited to finally have Blair. She's definitely been on my radar for a very long time. I don't really talk about it very much, but there are quite a few dolls that I have been kind of have eagle eye locked on, and I just haven't went through with it yet. Blair is one of those dolls. I have been obsessed with her since I came back into dolls. I think she's just adorable. I love her super pale skin. I'm so excited that they're starting to kind of make more of a range for skin tones because for the longest time there were really only three and I'm so happy to see them kind of like going outside that box. But more to that later, I'm so excited about her hair and her eyes. I just love her red hair and I really don't have any other dolls with like true bright red hair. And so she is going to be an adorable addition to my collection. I am obsessed with her dress. Like I, the second I saw it, I was immediately like, even if I don't get the doll, can I somehow get the dress? Cause I really want it. I'm a little confused cause it doesn't really match the shoes, but either way, I have noticed that American Girl is not the greatest about like matching their meat outfits lately. Something about it is just a little weird. Like I personally don't mind cause I don't really keep my dolls in the meat outfits and I can use each piece like as I want. But like all together, their meat outfits just don't really like ever match. Like Luciana's was a little weird and now Blair's with her shoes and the little wrist thing that she wears isn't actually matching her dress. I don't know, but either way, it's all cute. It's all good, whatever. Um, but I'm really excited about her dress. I love the little bumblebees, little buttons. I think I'm gonna be using this dress a lot and I can always use more dresses because I'm lazy and don't like taking the time to put pants on my dolls and so dresses are always welcome. Okay, so I can safely say I am already obsessed with her hair and eye combo. I love her and her pale skin and she's just adorable and I cannot wait to see more of her in other outfits. These shoes are super cute and I can't wait to pair them with some outfits I'm already thinking about. I love the dress, like I've said. I love the ribbing on the side and like the little bow and I'm just really excited to get her hair nut off. I've seen so many cute pictures of her on Instagram and I cannot wait to take some pictures of my own. I have been pretty much MIA on Instagram for like several months now and so maybe Blair will be the doll to get me back into it. I don't know yet. And hopefully her hair nut comes off good because I cannot wait to see this beautiful red hair. I love her face mold. I know that everyone's sick of the Josefina mold and I am too, to be honest. Like I'm a little bit sick of it. Like I wish... I'm gonna keep getting dolls for the host female, don't get me wrong, like I'm gonna keep buying them, but I also wish that they would use a couple more more frequently, like I'd like to see another um, character doll with the Sonali mold, and another character doll with um, the Joss mold, I think would be really really cool. I'm sure there are a couple others that I'd like to see. I love the Addy mold, like everyone else I want to see an Addy mold in the Girl of the Year line, but that being said, I still love the Josefina mold. It's one of my favorites and just a classic in my opinion. <laughs> More classic than the classic mold, I know that sounds weird. 
but it's true. And I love her. I love her hair. She is so bright. It's like fire engine red. And that is exactly what I was hoping for. I'm loving her. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to reveal her name to you guys because it fits her so well in my opinion. She had a couple of options, but when it came down to it, I was like, nope, that's the only option. It's perfect. I love it. And yeah, I just, Blair Wilson. I'm so far giving her a solid maybe 8 out of 10. Like there's obviously areas that could have been better. Her hair wasn't quite perfect as you guys can tell. But, you know, we'll brush her and come back and I'll give you guys a full on just idea of what I'm thinking of her. So real quick, I'm going to pull out her accessories and put them on her because I'm curious just to see how the overall look of it is and if I, you know, enjoy the pieces. I didn't realize that this little wrist thing was actually Velcro, which I actually really enjoy. I thought it was kind of just like a pull over her hand, but I enjoy the Velcro and I'm really excited to try this little hair clip. Um, what is it? Flower. It's a flower. Wow, that was... My brain just melted for a second there. I think the flower is really cute. It's purple, so maybe it ties in her shoes. I don't really know, but I'm excited to see it. I have not had a doll with like a little hair clip since Kanani. Maybe I'm lying. I don't know. I don't remember. There's been too many. I think I'm right. Am I right? This is cute. Wow, okay. I like it. It kind of pulls everything together, doesn't it? I don't know if that's where I'm supposed to put it, but I enjoy it. I think it's cute and Blair is gonna be awesome. Okay, so here you have it, Blair. I am so excited to finally have her in my collection and to have her as a part of my Girl of the Year collection in specific because I, like you guys know, I'm collecting all of the Girl of the Years and she was one of the very few that I was missing and I'm just so excited to have her. I love her combination. I know that it's kind of controversial and I know that not everyone's so happy about what American Girl has been doing with their Girl of the Year line lately, but I can just say right now, based on first impressions of Blair, that in and of itself, looking exclusively at just Blair. She's very pretty, very worth the money. I enjoy her a lot and I'm very impressed with her eyes because they seem to lock onto the camera really well. They're not like wonky. Granted, I did pick her out myself at a store, so you know, I'm not the best judge of if all the Blairs are like this, but I didn't notice any of them being too weird, so I like that. I'm a fan of her so far. Her hair is really pretty, really bright red, and it's definitely more noticeable in person than it is in pictures. I was a little worried about it being like kind of a muted red like Felicity, but it's definitely bright and in your face, and I love that. So as far as her skin tone, I'm really excited about her so far. She is my first doll with the new palest skin tone and I could not wait to get her because of that. I'm very excited for American Girl to start branching out in terms of skin tone. They definitely have expanded it a lot in just a couple of years and so I'm excited to see where that goes and if they take it even further, which I hope they do. It's been amazing so far. And so I'm really excited about Blair. I'm really excited about how pale she was. It was definitely a concern for me that they would do kind of too much with the paleness and not enough face paint because sometimes with dolls that are very very pale if you don't get enough face paint they look a little bit washed out so I was worried about that but now that I've seen her in person she definitely has a lot of color to her face wasn't a problem I do wish they had done a little bit more rosy cheeks on her I think that would have been really cute but either way I'm not upset about it and if I want to add that I can add that so no big deal so, uh, Blair's new name is a name I've held off on for a long time. I've been keeping it. I've loved it forever. And so I've been waiting for the perfect doll to use it for. And Blair with her bright hair and just her overall appearance and stuff, it just fits her really well. So Blair's new name is Ashton. Ash for short, so I kind of thought with the fire and ash and stuff, but Ash is really cute. It's a name I've wanted to use for a long time. Ashton as the long version, like you guys know, I enjoy using guy names for girls. I think it's super cute and I think she looks just perfect like an Ashton and I love it. So there you go. That's all I have today for as far as Ashton slash Blair, but I do want to again kind of go into which doll I should bring with me to the American Girl Place for the release of Kira Bailey. Your options to vote on are Eden, my truly me number 62, Bianca, my custom Leah, Salem, my custom Grace, and Lily, my truly me number 40. So vote down below under my pinned comment which doll you want to see come with me in the vlog to the release of Kira.
So I'm going to be hesitantly saying goodbye for now. I don't know if I'll be having another video out by the time that New Year's rolls around, so the next video you might see could potentially be the Kira vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, as always, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!